If you had to run into a demon, then I can guarantee you, you wouldn't want it to be this one. Here are the top five real Satan encounters that will make you a believer. Number five on this list is Saint Dunstan. Saint Dunstan was an archbishop who had a lot of encounters with the devil. A clerk of Oxford says, one day as evening was coming, an old man appeared at his window and asked him to make a chalice for him. Setting aside what he was working on, Dunstan agreed to the request and set to work. But as he was working, his visitor began to change shape. One moment he was an old man, then a young boy, then a seductive woman. Dunstan realized that his guest was the devil, but pretending not to notice, he went on with his task. He took up the tongs from among his tools and laid them in the fire, waiting until they were red hot. Then, pulling them out of the fire, he turned round and seized the devil by the nose with the tongs. The devil struggled and screamed, but Dunstan held on until at last he felt he had triumphed. Then he threw the devil out of his cell and it fled, running down the street and crying. Woe is me, what has that bald devil done to me? Look at me, a poor wretch, look how he has tortured me. Many people heard and saw this, and the following day they came to Dunstan and asked what had happened. He said to them, these are the tricks of devils who try to trap us with their snares whenever they can. But if we remain firm in the service of Christ, we can easily defeat them with his help and they will flee from us in confusion. That wasn't the only encounter that St. Dunstan had with the devil. In fact, he became known for having run-ins with Satan quite frequently. Several times, Dunstan swore that the devil himself came as an animal. One day, he appeared as a wolf and then changed into a fox right before his eyes. He tried to make St. Dunstan stop performing his prayers, but St. Dunstan's focus would not be broken, and eventually Satan gave up. These stories were told all across the land and are still told today to try and enlighten people about how Satan could attack you. He doesn't always appear as the red-horned evil beast that he's often portrayed as. Oftentimes, he could show himself as an innocent little fox, and we need to be ready if he does. Number four on this list is Huska Castle. Huska Castle might be the literal entrance to hell, guys, meaning that Satan has been chilling here for quite some time. All that's interesting says, as Bohemian chronicler Vaclav Hajek detailed in his Czech Chronicle in 15 1541, the first known structure at the site was a small wooden fort in the 9th century. Hajek also recounted local folklore that described the emergence of a crack in the cliff. It revealed a seemingly endless abyss that villagers deemed an entrance to hell. Locals were terrified of the half-human hybrids that began to crawl out of the hole at night and tear livestock apart. Fearful of turning into these demonic entities themselves, villagers of avoided the rocky entrance. They tried to block it with stones, but the abyss allegedly gobbled up anything they dropped into it, refusing to be filled. King Ottokar II of Bohemia had the Gothic structure built sometime between 1253 and 1278. Oddly, the original construction of the castle omitted stairs from the courtyard to the upper floors, and most of the structure's defenses were built facing inwards. It was as if the purpose of the castle wasn't to keep invaders out, but rather to keep something trapped within. Over the years, there have been tons of encounters with Satan here and his minions. I mean, they literally built an entire castle to try and stop them from coming, but that's how bad it got. This might be some of the clearest proof I've seen, and maybe the best entry on this list when it comes to convincing me. Building a castle would have cost a lot of money. When big sums of money start getting thrown around, that's when I start thinking that this could be legit. Number three on this list is Father Gabriel Amorth. This man was one of the most prolific exorcists ever, and he came face to face with Satan. The NY Post says, in 1997, when a young slim peasant man was escorted into the small room where Father Gabriel Amorth conducted his exorcisms in Rome, the priest felt immediately confronted by evil. Amorth said he asked for the help of Jesus, and the young man began to curse and spit, using English instead of his native Italian. His curses and threats were aimed solely at at the exorcist. Then he began spitting at him and preparing to attack him physically, 
writes Marcelo Stanazon in The Devil Is Afraid of Me, the life and work of the world's most famous exorcist. Screaming and howling, the demon burst forth and looked straight at him, drooling saliva from the young man's mouth. Amorth said he returned fire with prayers and other ritual recitations demanding that the demon reveal its name. Unclean spirit, Amorth bellowed. Whoever you are and all your companions who possess this servant of God, I command you, tell me your name, the day and the hour of your damnation. The man fixed him with a glare and snarled, I am Lucifer. Literally, the father was face to face with Satan right there. He went on to perform one of the most harrowing exorcisms of his life, one that lasted weeks. Eventually, he was able to rid the person of this devil and let the young man go on with his life. But wow. I'm no exorcist, so I don't know what it's like, but I imagine that they have nightmares of having an exorcism go like that, where the person reveals themselves as Satan. Father Gabriel Amorth was the best of the best, though, and managed to win that fight. Number two on this list is Will Carroll. Will Carroll is a drummer from the heavy metal band Death Angel. Seems like a fitting name for the band considering what happened to Will. Global News says, after spending nearly two weeks in a coma fighting COVID-19, Death Angel drummer Will Carroll has revealed that during his battle with the virus, he had bizarre dreams of the afterlife where he would be sent to hell and meet Satan. Carroll tested positive for the novel coronavirus shortly after the conclusion of Death Angel's most recent European tour. The illness left him in a critical state where he was put on a ventilator while lying unconscious in a California Pacific Medical Center hospital bed for 12 days before recovering. In an exclusive interview with the San Francisco Chronicle published on May 15th, just days after the musician's 47th birthday, Carol revealed that in his dreams, the devil would punish him for the deadly sin of sloth. The musician said Satan would transform him into a creature similar to that of Star Wars Jabba the Hutt, and that he would vomit blood until he ultimately had a heart attack. Well, that sounds like literally the worst time ever. My dude got put in a coma from COVID, and then Satan came to him and turned him into a slug and made him cough blood. Obviously not the best time there for my man Will. He was absolutely convinced that this happened to him though. That it wasn't just all in his head, but Satan really did do that. And even though his body was lying in a hospital bed, he was still going through all of it. Finally, number one on this list is George Lukens. George Lukens was a young man that was living in England. On May 31st of 1778, he started to experience some pretty unusual symptoms and didn't feel too good. He went to the doctor and they tried a few things. However, nothing was working and by all accounts, it looked as if George was getting worse. He was having serious convulsions and getting through his everyday life was becoming increasingly difficult. After trying the doctor for a while with no success, he turned to the church. It became clear to the priest he approached that George was infested with some type of strong and powerful demon and that they would need to perform an exorcism. This wasn't an everyday ordinary exorcism though. The priest could sense a strong power here and needed help. He called in six other priests to perform form a super powerful exorcism and get this demon out for good. Well, turns out this was a good idea because the demon was Satan. During the exorcism, George started bending the laws of physics and floating in the air. A voice that wasn't his started echoing around the room claiming that he was Satan and everyone in the room was going to hell. After several hours of fighting back and forth with the devil, eventually the priests won and rid George of him. George actually went on to live a healthy life after that and his illness was cured. But there you have it guys, that is our list of the top 5 real encounters with Satan that will make you a believer. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other creepy satanic encounters that you guys know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.